transpiration in plants. All plants from the smallest weed to the tallest tree, which is several meters tall, need water. Plants are not mobile. How do they manage to get water right up to the tallest branch? The roots of plants absorb water and mineral salts from the soil through the root hairs by the process of osmosis. Only a small percentage of this water is used by the plant. The rest gets evaporated from the surface of leaves. This evaporation of water from the plant is called transpiration. Let us perform a simple experiment to show that transpiration takes place in plants. Take a medium-sized, well-watered potted plant. Cover it with a transparent polythene bag A and tie its mouth at the base of the stem. Next to the potted plant, place an empty polythene bag B with its mouth tied. Expose this setup to sunlight for an hour or two. Drops of water will appear on the inner side of the bag A. The polythene bag B will not show any water drops in it. The leaves give off water vapor and due to condensation of the water vapor, tiny drops of water get collected. This experiment shows that plants give out water to the atmosphere through transpiration. There are three types of transpiration depending on the site of transpiration. They are stomatal transpiration, lenticular transpiration and cuticular transpiration. Stomatal transpiration Stomata are openings on the leaf surface through which transpiration takes place. The stomata are surrounded by guard cells which help the stomata to open and close. Lenticular transpiration Lenticels are minute openings on the stem and a small amount of water is evaporated through them. Lenticels are less in number compared to the stomata. Cuticular transpiration This is the transpiration which takes place from the leaf surface. Leaves are covered by a waxy layer of cuticle. The cuticle actually helps the leaf to reduce the amount of transpiration taking place. Water is absorbed by the root of a plant. The tiny root hairs help in absorption. The water is then conducted to the upper parts of the plant through the xylem. The xylem cells have thick walls and can be compared to the pipes carrying water from the underground tank to all parts of the house. The mesophyll cells in the leaf have large intercellular spaces between them. The evaporated water vapor collects here and goes out through the stomata which open and close periodically. Water is also evaporated from the surface of the leaf through the cuticle. When the water from the outermost layer gets evaporated, it absorbs water from the layer of cells below it, and this process creates a pull by which water gets pulled up through the xylem. Transpiration is very important to plants, as the transpiration pull helps in water rising to the leaves against the force of gravity. This activity will show us that both surfaces of the leaf do not transpire at the same rate. We use cobalt chloride paper to test for the presence of water. Cobalt chloride paper, which is normally blue, turns pink when it comes in contact with water. Take two strips of cobalt chloride paper and place them on either surface of one of the leaves of a potted plant. Cover them with a glass slide and hold them in place with elastic bands. Leave it for an hour. 
Now remove the strips and observe them closely. What do you see? The strip placed on the lower surface turns more pink than that on the upper surface. This shows that transpiration is more on the under surface than on the upper surface. Do you know the reason for this? The upper surface gets more sunlight and the plant would lose most of its water if the number of stomata on both the surfaces were the same. Though transpiration is essential for plants, they also adapt themselves to minimize the water loss through transpiration.